Uh, well, we have a DVD coming out next week, and it's just all 15 of our MTV videos. Uh, we restored them and took all the glitches out. We did the sound in uh, Dolby, and we did some interviews with Mick and I, and just talked about you know the craziness of how we made them, and it's just everything. Because also on that is also on Chain and I, which was the video we put out in '87. It was like the first home video to go platinum. Mm -hmm. Nothing goes flat with anyway, so. But uh, yeah, it's just Unchained the Night and all our MTV videos and a lot of interviews. And we have a live album coming out you know, from 1981 before we got a record. Yeah. That's definitely a catalog. So that's what we're calling with us. So. Uh, and I remember growing up in the 70s and you know, hearing you know, the bands like Journey and Kansas and Foreigner and Heart and Starship. Well, I guess they later discovered we're all the same band. And, uh, and at first, I remember being shaken up a lot by you know when the when the three chord uh, punk movement began, and then you know, that really changed uh, uh, the face of music. And then later on, uh, heavy metal just sprang up. And heavy metal had been around for a while because I remember uh, before I was born in 1973, riding in the back of a car and, and seeing a magazine with Alice Cooper on the cover and uh, an article about heavy metal, this whole new hot phenomenon. And that was back in 1973. And then in the early 80s, all of a sudden, things exploded. What happened? How did this happen? Well, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I just showed up for the gig. <laughs> I think it started in L.A. I mean, like Bobby and I played together back in the Starwood days when Star yeah. was around. And, you know, it was, there was Van Halen, Quiet Riots, uh, lots of bands, you know. But I remember seeing Judas Priest when there was nobody at the Starwood. And you could see Journey at the Whiskey. But, it just sprung up off the strip in Orange County. We all just had these, you know, bands. And then Van Halen, I think Van Halen kind of broke it out. Oh. They came out in 79, 78, 79. Right. And then we did Break the Chains in 81. So by the time the whole heavy metal thing got really, you know, was on the covers, we already put out like three or four Latin albums. Right. Same with Rat, they were all, we were actually kind of the first bands to put out the record. Right. You know, 81, 82, and then, you know, 85, 86, it was just going yeah. through a boogie. But then I got, I got watered down, and everybody knows that. He had a lot of copy bands, and it was all about the hair and the makeup. And it was a Bon Jovi station. It got a little too silly, and uh, people just got burned. I think out. MTV played a key role, because heavy metal really That's coincided cool. with with uh, MTV. And MTV being visual, uh, I mean, heavy metal did have the, 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 you know, the greatest looks of the hottest girls. Yeah, we did it together. It was a phenomenal Pyramids, yeah. dragons, laser beams, it was over <laughs> bombs. Yeah, it was very theatrical. It was, it was, like, it was almost like, I mean, I mean, heavy metal really was the first son of the MTV era. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. couldn't keep up, but the suspense was so heavy for those bands. I think Alice Cooper started it all. Alice, yeah. Alice started it all. Alice started it all. Preacher's son, out of, where, where is he from? Arizona. 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 He lives in Arizona now. I don't know if he's from there. It's cyclical. You know, the 80s did that. Yeah. Yeah. Happy went back to Nirvana, playing with, you know, nothing. Uh -huh. Ampus big, small drum set, nothing. No lights, just white. Right. Yeah. All cyclical. And, and t tell me, what do you think the big appeal was at heavy metal? What What did it, besides the visuals, what about the music? What's good, the music? Good time music, and there was no political messages. Involved, it's just about going out and everybody partying and having a good time, you know. Mm -hmm. Not see, there's no ser you know, lack, uh, full focus on serious lyrics, which is no party. party. Yeah, I just missed that. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> Came home and read the Bible. I just don't day. remember it. <laughs> no party going on. It was business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had all sorts of business. <laughs> Accoutrements.